And to start the lap, we're going to cross the start-finish line here. Head over to the left-hand side of the track. You're going to break just past this hundred board and get the car turned in. Really important to get a good entry into here and run all the way out wide. But you don't want to run out too out wide. It's super easy to get onto the dirt. Just past the 50, hitting the brakes again into turn number two. Again, on the inside curb, really helps the traction out of the corner. Now into turn three, over to the right and then into the left. Use all the track on the exit. This, re this section really comes at you quickly, and now you finally get a breather as you head into turn number four. Break just as you get to the curb, keep it out wide, and then cut it in to get a nice straight exit off the corner. This is very important to keep the tires underneath you over the long course of the race. As we come up here and you approach the bridge, you want to stay towards the left-hand side of the track unless you're protecting for a pretty tempting passing zone. And so you'll come in, turn just after the 50, roll some speed through here, and you want to use all that track exit, even that tiny bit of curb. Here you will want to break quick downshift using all of that entry curb and all of the exit as well. It's really important to use all of your exits here. And so as you come up over the hill, you want to be looking to the right. You might get a little wiggle on the entry, but you have to make sure you stay out of that grass on the left. And so break just past the 50, turn in, get up on top of that curb because if, if you don't, it helps with the traction, putting the power down and getting ready for that last corner. And so as we come down the straightaway, break at the 50 board, turn in pretty early and the whole goal is to get the power down as soon as possible with this car. And so here we are approaching the back straight, ready for the next lap.